Morning, folks. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Faye's a tiny bit hungover. She's Just not too bad. She's a little bit hungover. But, yeah, first ride out with Faye's new bars on. Oh, Hang on, let's move this microphone, folks. I know you can hear it now. I don't know if that's any better or not. But, yeah, put these new flat bars on. Oh, they call them drag bars, but I don't know. What are you messing about with your pants, though? They just don't seem to pull right up. They're like hipsters. Do you know what I mean? And then when you sit down on the bike, yeah. they just kind of go like that. <laughs> luckily, I'm be a bit more like that. Well, when I'm on your bike and I get up, they're just like there. I mean, they're not, they're not overly tight. It's just... The snug. No, they should be fastened at the front. They're fastened at the back there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only a little fastener at the back, like, but... But it, I feel like they should. it should, like, be a baby grow thing. Is that what you think you need? Textile yeah. baby grow. Well, folks, that's where we're at. <laughs> Textile baby grows. Uh, do you want to sit on it anyway? She's not rolled this yet with these bars on. No, no, it's... Um, it's been all work and no play recently. Oh, I know. I oh, know. It like looks better. It was like, because your hands were a bit higher than your... They were there, weren't they? Something like that. There was, and they were forward a bit, I think. You, you seem to be, uh, I don't know, well... They are a fair bit different. Yeah, so we'll give them a go, eh? Makes the bike look a lot better, don't it? It feels, it feels like I'm, I can be in more control. Yeah, it probably feels a bit more like a motorbike should. Well. Anyway, folks, today we're going to... Uh, I don't know whether you, you've all got kids and they use that Depop. I'd never heard of it, but little and use it a bit. Well, she sold the jacket uh, for a couple of hundred quid on Depop. Now, we, she, she wrapped it all up, put a dress on it. And we're going to post it tomorrow, so we get to the... Anyway, looks at the address, it's only in Ashton, so it's, only, it's only that road from where we are. So we thought, so we'll nip out and post it this morning. Look at the weather, why wouldn't yeah. you? And why wouldn't you, eh? Why wouldn't you? You know, so, give give these a, a chance, give see the what they feel like. Up. Yeah. It looks loads better anyway. It does look loads better. Anyway, folks, nearly done 10,000 mile on this. I'll do a bit of a review type thing when I, when I get a chance. I do keep getting asked about what's happened to it and what's gone wrong, what I've changed. And, uh, well, no, it's gone wrong with it. <laughs> it's it's only bike, the bike I've ever had that I've never had to do anything. It's never been back to dealer, it's never, never missed a beat, nothing's rusted, nothing's corroded. So we're alright. Anyway, come on. Let's, let's get rock to Ashton. And roll. Ashton, here we come. Deep hopping. I know, deep hop. Oh apparently, my God. apparently it's a bit like a, an eBay. You'll probably all know, like, but apparently it's like an eBay type thing. What kids sell all the clothes on? Now yeah, it is. It is. It's like, it, it, it says half eBay, half Instagram. All oh, right, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Let's fix these mirrors a little bit. Yeah, well, I only I, I, obviously when I was sat on it, I wasn't really looking. I just attached them, so they might need adjusting. You do look a lot thingy on it. It looks more like a motor right now. Babe, it is totally different. Oh, no, hey, take your time, like I said, because you, you were used to it how it was, wouldn't you? Yeah, and it's... So you have got to be a bit careful. Everything's different. Let's get that sorted. I feel like I haven't rode a bike before again. Are you starting from scratch? Every time. Every time. Luckily we're only going round the corner, eh? I know. Wow, she sounds great. Yours doesn't. Me, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll go seeing it reads otherwise it's uh, gonna be a pretty pointless ride otherwise. Well it's just like you say for me to feel what these are like. Yeah. It does feel like I'm, I'm a little bit further forward. Well you will be. It should just feel more like a normal motorbike. Yeah. So when you start doing a, a big rob, when you start doing your proper lessons and that you should be somewhat like us at the moment. If you're looking at one of them Kawasaki Vulcans or Vulcan S, I think they're called. And it's pretty much the same seat position as what she's in now. Which will be a pretty good transition, because I think when she's doing the lessons and all that, she's going to get the bike and do her lessons on the bike she's got. Because the fella from, uh, from the instruction place said he'd come to the house, pick her up, 
and then take her out on her own bike, which would be handy because she's going to feel at home, won't it? Oh, God, yeah, that's the idea. And that, I that's I it. It's just an idea at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, where I did be, um, my CBD. What, CBD oil? I uh, know, yeah. I've Excuse me guys because I'm saying that because my daughter actually sells that stuff in a company and that's why I've said that. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit slow this morning. Well, somebody's had a bumper. Oh I yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, it does feel like it's pulling me a little bit further forward like you say, which is a bit more of a um, biking position, isn't it? Yeah, uh, as long as it's comfy enough. Oh I yeah, it's proper comfy. Into this lab, I think it will have switched the GoPro on. No, is it comfy enough though? Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't well be as comfy as it was before, but it don't, you don't look forward, right? You're pretty, it, it just looks natural, it looks more of a natural thing, yeah. Come on, look. Sorry about not uh, having the Bala video out, we've done it twice and it's just been a bit crap. The yeah, we had a tech, sorry for interrupting babe, we had a tech problem again, didn't we? Yeah, well, it was, it was more of a, a forgetfulness. Basically, as you know, I'd gone down on bike and fair went in car. Now, I'd filmed myself going down uh, and never thought to charge the camera up against the walk up in the morning tent. And about an hour before we was going out, I said, crap, the camera's not charged. So, we only had a crap little charger with us. So, I threw it on charge for an hour or so, I thought, it should be alright, but it only lasted about 25 minutes, then battery went. Uh, so, then we only had the face GoPro. camera, and we had the GoPro and face camera. And the, the footage is alright, don't get me, it's alright, but the main thing about this was the mishap. Now, we didn't have to us, it didn't have to Dan, it happened to all the other lads with us, uh, to Darren. Basically, we weren't meant to be off-road, it just, it just happened and then we all, we had a bit of a discussion, we decided to carry on. So, cut a long story short, it was going tighter and tighter, well, I'll, I will put a video up of some of it, like, and it was like a grassy, muddy, downhill bit. Now, on the video, Cameras never, never show gradients. They, they, they flattened the gradients out, but it was it was steep enough to be hard work on road tyres with road pressures. Well, then he rode. Darren's gone down pretty heavy at about doing about 20 miles an hour, but he went down pretty hard. I didn't see it, but uh, Steve was behind him. He saw it. He said, "Jesus!" He said, "He said his, his front wheel sort of tucked and he slammed to the floor." Now he hurt his ribs and. He snapped his and guard off. Now he had a, it was a NC750 uh, DCT, but he'd had the optional uh, quick shifter put on his foot. You know, like a gear thing, even though it's automatic, he had a, a quick shifter put on there. Now he bent that in, and the bike was stuck in gear, so he couldn't start it. So we had a load of my, it was just one of those days, and then after he was coming, so we made down walk back up the hill to get him. We didn't know he fell off, but we knew something must have happened. I was a fur way up and we get to the top and we sit and wait in there. Now we said his bike was damaged. So we anyway we, we get it down. And Steve was uh, riding his down there slow. Then Steve fell off his. Only a little drop thing to the side to the left. Yeah, it was so like we, a little drop, yeah, wasn't it? So we picked Steve's bike up. But none of this is on camera, so we didn't we didn't catch it. So when I done the video, it's about 30 odd minutes long because the scene is that nice and you didn't want to miss nothing. And no footage of the crash and no commentary so you can hear fair talking but not me and it was just a bit bit mad so I will try and make something of it but it was all ready to go up and we watched it and it was just a bit crap it happens it happens you don't like to film it though did we because you know you feel bad that someone's gone down and they're a little bit shaky yeah like I say it wasn't so massive crap it was just an awkward one Steve just said he went down really really hard 
it wasn't one of those where he, he got his foot down first and tried to save it. He just caught him out and he went down like a like a sack of spuds type thing. And um, he's proper hurt his ribs and Bikes took a bit of a beating. It all scratched down the side. I say Angar was smashed off and there were bits and bobs, uh, but it all got sorted. It was right. Yeah. We had a little bit of a barbie, um, a fire in the evening, didn't we? And have a giggle about it at the end. Yeah, it's it's all lost. Stuff happens, doesn't it? Who didn't know that it was going to end up like that on the road? You didn't. No. Like I say, the, the actual fire trails that you go through the through the woods were great. Not yeah. a problem, actually. But I mean, it's just when you got on the bad grass and mud with these tires and like I say, these these tires have done what nearly nine thousand. No, they have done over nine thousand mile now. Uh, so the, there's no left on them, they're ready for changing. Well, no one was hurt, so that's the important bit. Yeah, well, it's a hurt his ribs, but it, was, it, it wasn't how serious, was it? No. It wasn't a hospital job or out. So, yeah, Depop, we're dropping uh, Sophia's jacket off, and then she's buying, she's bought another one off there, apparently, for a couple yeah. of hundred quid. I know. Aren't coats expensive for young girls and yeah. boys? If she wanted it new, it was about 600 quid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. 600 sheets for the jacket. <laughs> it bob up. Absolute bob up. So she's found one that uh, a young lad's selling, but I think it's too small for him or something, so we're going to go and have a look at that later. And then that's her sorted then. Yeah. Because she's growing that quick, he's just growing out of them within months. <laughs> She's taller than you now, isn't she? Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Not saying much that really, though, is it? <laughs> but yeah, went out for a drink last night. Uh, it could be the last one. The way it's going, because our, our, our neck of the woods is rife with COVID, apparently. I don't actually know anybody with it, though, but apparently it's rife, and uh, it looks like we're going to be in one of the areas where they're going to shut pubs in there so well he nearly didn't change the battle last night for us did he i know yeah they run out of uh, one of one of beers now they wasn't even going to open today they said because uh, of what was going on they didn't want to have it by any more ale until they knew what was going to happen and uh, then made a decision at last minute and uh decided to do it where's that bike on that was behind you just i know yeah i saw it i think it went to the uh, petrol station all right I do feel like I'm a million miles away from getting a big bike at the moment though. I know when it's been, we've had one of them, them moments where you've not done much riding, have you? And it's been a work, the weather's been lousy recently and work's just took over life at moments. Oh God. Well the weather's been crap, hasn't it? Like you just said, it's all it's, lashing down. It's all it seemed to do recently. Sick of getting wet at work. Absolutely and sick of it. And then you get a little bit um, disheartened, don't you, about doing videos and getting no views and losing subscribers and it's all a bit like... Yeah, well, I couldn't give a toss. It, it bothers me, that stuff. Like, I couldn't give a toss. So I just said, oh, let's leave it for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm not that thing either at the moment. It's, uh, it does get a bit... a bit repetitive at times. Every day, at this time of year, there's only so much you can do on a bike, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, and we don't want to keep on repeating the same old, same old. I know, especially like, say, at this time of year, uh, we're at work, it's going to start to go dark early, we're at work, you're still learning, it's... Uh, Absolutely, definitely still learning. Just keep your eye out to the right here, cars are uh, often flying down here. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Are you up with me? Yeah. Yeah. It does seem funny watching your mirrors now. Right. Because <laughs> complete different position. Yeah. It, you I, know, used, I used to look at mirrors and you were like that. I know. It feels completely different. It really does. It looks better. Like I say, it looks more natural now.
Well, that's what I want though, and I want to, I mean, I know it, it set me back a little bit going on changing the bars, believe it or not, but at least I'm on the better path now. Yeah, because what are them Vulcans? They don't have the big bars, so you're learning on something and it would have, you'd have got a Vulcan in a felt completely different. Yeah. Now, you should be a million miles off the, the same position. And with the bars being high, you were struggling man handling the bike, weren't you? Like, yeah. You know, when you're pushing it about, like, you were struggling because yeah. of the high bars. Definitely. I'm going to take a 13 quid off eBay. <laughs> could not do for that, could we? Well, you're not going to buy anything expensive for this anyway, are you? At the end no, of the day. Oh, it's pointless. It's pointless. The only thing with them, like I said, they didn't come with drilled holes, because obviously on phase, these controllers, they have a little notch that goes into a hole, so... Just like, oh, it was no big deal. Just measured the same as the other bars and drilled a couple of holes, and it's all, it's all good. Like I said, we was going to put a shorter clutch cable on it if it works out. She wanted to make sure she was okay with it first. Because she could have gone on it and thought, oh, I don't like this. You know what I mean? So. Well, I do like it. It's just, like you say, getting used to it again. I know people are thinking it's a bike, it's like a car is a car. It, it, it is a bit of a different position for me. So, I don't whether my um, clutch is a little bit further out as well, or is that just my imagination? No, it's just your imagination, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not adjustable on yours, so it's, it, it's exactly where it was before. Okay. Like I said, the only thing is the clutch cable's too long on it and it's stuck up a bit, but I didn't want to put another one on, and then you're not like the bars. It'd have been just bad, there's been a waste of money. Oh, that cable's insignificant, don't matter really, does it? Not really, not if you're not on earth. Like I say, we're hoping by May next year, uh, you will have your, your test done, but just see how it goes, we don't know, do we? No. With all this Covid stuff going on, who knows what's going to happen next year? Can't make any plans, can you? No, God, no. We'll not eat. Uh, everything, everything we do now is going to be last minute job, isn't it? Well, definitely. We're both off for half term and we yeah, want to so go and do something, but we're not making any plans. Yeah, it was all about doing a bit of a little mini tour, weren't we? In yeah. October, but we'll see, we'll see. It's, it's if ever it's close, it's pointless. So. No, I know. And if the weather's crap as well. Yeah, it's, it's not like I said, just play by ear and we'll go from there. It should be a bit more, like, so the bike for you should be a bit more manageable because. That was all to me it just seemed awkward with that it's you've, you've got more of a bit of a, a push and pull on the bars now rather yeah. than that weird ape anger thing i don't know oh hang on oh we nearly missed that then well yeah, i didn't know uh, where it, we were going no this, not, this is not where he expected it to be i wasn't even looking at sat nav i would just go i was just making my way into ashton <laughs> and then i just glanced at sat nav we're only one and three quarter mile away according to this But these roads are all new to me. Ah, these tyres on Africa Swin, they're <laughs> proper done now. <laughs> I've proper had my money's worth. <laughs> Just over 9,000 miles I've done on them. I mean, that's what, three European tours as well, fully loaded, two up. So I can't, I can't knock them, they've been great. Oh God, no, you've had your money's worth on that, love. Yeah, they've, 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 they've not given me any problems whatsoever, and since I went tubeless, uh, they've not lost a pound of pressure. And that was what, three, you know, four thousand miles ago I went tubeless, uh, and they've not lost a pound, they've been great. One mile away, what's this speed camera there, well, that's a, no, go, on, go, yeah. going nowhere, <laughs> I know, yeah, going nowhere near the speed limit. <laughs> I always think I'm doing faster than I am anyway. I know, your speed is optimistic on that, isn't it? Oh, God. With this, because I've got a bigger rear sprocket on now for acceleration, my, my speed is about four mile an hour, I'll, but I go on the, the GPS speed on there, so... It's not so bad. So it overreads by about four mile an hour, which is not a bad thing, because if you're going by the one on the dashboard, it, it gives you that bit of, bit of leeway then. I bet it's one of them over there. Just pull over here, babe. Just pull over to the left while I have a nosey. 
I love it the way Sean does that. Just pull over, love. Just pull over. I know. <laughs> uh, you stay there a second, love. I'm just going to pull forward, see what number these houses are on right hand side here, yeah? No, it's ever straightforward, is it? So look at this number on this one, we can see. 638. We want 626, don't we? Have we overcut it? Yeah, it's got me in that little thingy there. Uh, do you want to go sit around about the turn around or do you want to just turn around there? Um, just turn around here, you'll be alright. You've got to do it sometime, haven't you? Yeah. Watch that car, love. Shit. What's up? There's another car and another car. It's alright. After this fiesta. I said, don't try and do it in one of you struggling, just. <laughs> That's it. It's not on. That's your first big turn with new bars, isn't it? Oh, aye, yeah. Made a balls of it. <laughs> no, you're right. So I'm presuming it's going to be one of these here. Or maybe not, I don't know, but now you get into it. Bloody hell. Oh yeah, this is a turning on your, on your left oh, no, in a minute. Oh no, it's near, but I don't know how you get to them houses. Hang on baby, it might be one of these up here then, love. Oh folks, this is fun. What number are we? Just follow me behind me and I'll uh, 626. Oh no, it is one of them over there then. We're turning around again. Yeah, we'll go up here and turn around. Well, it's all practice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, 532, 52, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's got to be in that little nearby thing there. A bit strange, wasn't it? Yeah. Where are you going, love? <laughs> oh dear. So you don't care to off. Okay. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, let me get into neutral. What do you want neutral Oh for? no, I don't need to. Stop sniffling. Oh, sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it's got to be one of them then, in that little, little cut off there, but yeah, it looks like you've got to go round. Yeah, 626, so yeah, 528. Five, 540. I didn't think that would still be classed as Wigan Road then. It won't be. Are you sure it's not the one next door to that other big one? Well, it's not going to drop, it's not going to change 20 house numbers, is it? In one, no, one house. No, 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 no. Well, I don't think so. Anyway. We'll have to just go here and have a look and we'll, uh, we'll play by here. Should have paused today. Brookside <laughs> 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 Avenue, we'll see that. See if this leads us to, uh, yeah, this might lead us to it, love. Well, this is Brookside Avenue. It's uh, strange, this. I might, I've got, I might have put the L Google Maps on, love. But it was saying, it was saying we were here, so, see there's a, this says Wigan Road up front of it. No, it doesn't say it like that. Oh, hang on, no. 648, this is, this is, this is street, babe. Six two two. Yeah, it's Wigan Road, yeah. Must, yeah, six two six. Okay. Yeah, I'll come there with you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to get a? Thingy what? on here because it's a nice picture. A thumb uh, thumbnail. Can do you? Yeah. 
I'm going to get these bloody trousers pulled up. Can I put my legs up? No, no, put your legs down. That's us. Better do a bit of deep hop. In with kids. Yeah. Huh? Deep. Down with the kids. Deep hop and you the bars. Deep hop. <laughs> Never even heard of it. It's, it's worth the one. She got the money for it. Indicator. She left indicators on a few times today. You know. Brush up on that again. Anyway, folks, we'll love you and leave you. We'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ring that bell, all that nonsense. <laughs> if you don't mind, it does help, I think. I'm yeah, no it does, it does. Just keeps us a little bit more keen to do things if we get people yeah, watching, doesn't it? I know, I know. Anyway, folks, till next time, we'll love you and leave you, and we'll see you soon. Bye!